In this video, let us see two examples of shear force and bending moment diagrams of the cantilever beam which is carrying uniformly distributed load and point load together. So let us see the question directly. A cantilever beam of length 1.5 meter is loaded with a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter run over a length of 1.25 meter from the free end. It also carries a point load of 3 kN at a distance of 0.25 meter from the free end. Draw shear force and bending moment diagrams for the cantilever. So let us try to draw uh, the loading diagram from this information. So this is the cantilever beam, what they have given. And, and total length of the cantilever is 1.5 meter. And it is saying that a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter run over a length of 1.2 meter from the free end. So up to 1.525 meter from the free end up to here. This is 1.25 meter approximately. So it is carrying UDL of how much? 2 kilo newton per meter. Run over a length of 1.5 meter. Uh, 25 meter. That is what we have drawn. It also carries a point load of 3 kilo newton at a distance of 0.25 meter from the free end. So apart from that, we have another load of uh, how much? 3 kilo newton. 3 kilo newton and it is acting at the distance of 0.25 meter. 25 meter. Right, this is our loading diagram. So now we have to draw this uh, required shear force and bending moment diagrams. For that, we need to calculate first their values. So let us uh, straight away get into that. If you see uh, this is shear force uh, diagram. Uh, so in order to uh, draw the shear force diagram, let us calculate first shear forces. So shear force that can be represented by F. So as we are uh, coming from right to left from the starting, let us consider, uh, let us follow the same. So this is at B, shear force at B. So UDL is, has been started, but there is no proper uh, magnitude over there so shear force at B is 0 and here you need to see very carefully so up to C we have UDL and at C we have another point load acting so let us calculate it for UDL first so let me say if up to C up to C or near to C that is how much 2 kilo Newton per meter so this is also UDL, right? 2 kilo Newton per meter, but acting up to only this distance up to point C, right? That is how much? 0 0.25. So that is uh, 5. Sorry, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 kilo Newton. Now we need to calculate at C. At C, what happens? So uh, with that shear force, what we have calculated, that is nothing but 2 into 0.25 additionally one sudden load is being acted in the form of point load that is how much 3 kilo newton so that is how much 3 3.5 kilo newton and according to sign convention these are all positive because all the loads are acting downwards uh, i have told you the trick to remember that uh, that the force will be positive if it is in the direction of gravitational force yeah this is positive uh, now if at Shear force at D. So if you want to calculate at D, so how many forces we have? We have this UDL and we have this point load. This UDL spread it over 1.25 meter. 2 into, so in order to calculate the load, UDL multiplied by the length it is spread it over. Okay, 0 0.2, sorry, uh, 2 into 1.25, this is 1.25 plus 3. How much? So that will be 5.5 kN. So that is about shear forces. I'm sorry, uh, no, no, shear force at A. So there is no load in between D and A. So same load will be continued up to here. That is also 5.5 kN. So up to A also, these are all the sum of loads. So as shear force is the sum of forces right or left to the section. Now let us calculate the bending moments. Bending moments and we represent with capital M. So at B it is 0, there is no force and there is no distance. Bending moment at C. 
so if you see this is the cantilever beam so whatever the load that is acting on the cantilever that load will bend the beam like this so which is hogging negative bending moment you please remember that whatever the bending moments we are calculating are negative so at c what happens so this is the load we have minus 2 this is udl right udl acting at this portion up to c portion 2 into 0 0.25 multiplied by the distance so udl if it is converted into point load by multiplying this udl into length we need that is located at the center of gravity and the distance will be exactly half of the length it is acting over and that is how much 0 0.25 by 2 up to c so we will get it as minus 0. 0.0625 kilo newton meter moment is force into distance so force is measured in kilo newton distance is in meters now bending moment at d so we have two two kinds of loads one is the udl one is the point load so let us see this udl first minus 2 into 1.25 so that is the load multiplied by the distance so this is load load uniformly distributed load converted into point load multiplied by the distance up to c so if udl it is converted into point load acting at the center of gravity so we need to take the centroidal distance that is how much 1.25 by 2 so that is not over yet so we have another load that is minus 3 into distance up to d force into perpendicular distance 3 into so how much will be this distance 1 meter so this is total is 1.2 meter this is 0 0.25 subtracted and this is 1 meter so that is 3 into 1 that is how much minus 4.563 kilo newton meter and another bending moment we need to find out at a which is at the fixed support so let me say this is minus 2 into 1.25 so same uh, this udl multiplied by the distance up to point a so the distance is this centroidal distance up to d is how much 1.25 by 2 that is distance up to d and this distance we should also be added how much this is 1.5 minus 1.25 that is 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 is added so that's all so we will get it as sorry we have another this point load 3 into load into distances up to here that is how much 1 plus 0 0.25 so this distance is 1 this is 0 0.5 okay so we will get it as minus 5.94 kilo newton meter right so let us try to draw uh, the plot uh, the shear force and bending moment diagrams according to the values obtained okay let me take another pencil okay we are about to calculate uh, draw the shear force diagram here the reference points we have a b c d right so what is shear force at b that is 0 shear force at uh, c is 0 0.25 up to c is 0 0.25 suddenly 3 kilo newton is acting and that will become 3.5 and so i am just marking the points so at d it is how much 5.5 and this at a this is 5.5 same this is 5.5 and if you see so it, there is no load I am just joining with the line and uh, as I said UDL if you convert into point load or shear force that is uh, actually load into distance so that y is equal to mx it follows straight line relationship so these two points should be joined with the straight line to to show the variation due to this uniformly varying load so this is not suddenly acting load so as it here uh, so sudden load is being acted so there is a uh, sudden variation like this 
so this is b at 0 and up to c this is 0 0.5 and suddenly 3 kilo newton is acting and becoming 3.5 and here is this is 2.5 in between 2 uh, kilo newton difference is there and this is all the positive shear force positive shear force shear force diagram and we need to calculate the bending moment diagram sorry we need to draw the bending moment diagram now right so let us mark the points a b c d and this is hogging negative bending moment so always below the reference line so moment at b is 0 c is minus 0 0.0625 and at D it is minus 4.563 kilonewton meter and at A it is minus 5.94 so now you have to be very careful while drawing the shear force diagram and there is no load in between D and A so you can join with a straight line and here this load is there so what we generally say as W into X square by 2 for the cantilever UDL so that is uh, representing the equation y is equal to x square which is the parabolic equation so these two points which are representing the gap uh, which is show, uh, being shown by this um, udl so that should be like the parabola and this is also this uh, this will be continued up to here because udl is being continued here and this is all the negative bending moment Hope you have understood so let us see another question uh, this is second example uh, hope you can uh, you can easily find it out because uh, let me mark the points here a b I will give you the clue you just do the problem and mention um, the answer in comment box below okay so if you have shear forces you, you have to calculate so at b so the shear force at B will be so only one load is being acted that is also downward that is 2.5 kilo Newton and at C there is no load in between so that 2.5 will be continued and at D so how many loads we have up to D two loads one is the UDL one is two uh, this point load so one kilo Newton acting over so let me zoom it so that you can see see it better see the dimensions better right shear force you can easily find it out now so shear force at B is 2.5 there is no load in between B and C and here this is 1 kilo Newton so 1 kilo Newton acting over 2 meter so 1 into 2 plus 2.5 and here we have three loads and here um, the same shear force will be continued as there is no load in between E and A so bending moment also the uh, so the problem what I have shown you little before is little complicated and now this is very easy you can do it uh, there is no need to find out up to point C and at points so because all these are separate loads there is no uh, a perfect combination between UDL and point loads so you just try this problem and mention uh, the answers in comment box thank you thanks for your time